It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And these are the eight bourbon and ryes that are perfect for drinking this summer. According to us. If you're new to the channel and like what you're seeing, uh, you can come on over. The, the, the bourbon is fine. Uh, we want to get this number up to where more people who watch our videos are subscribed. A little experiment we're doing to see if talking about it helps. But uh, if you like this list, uncorking, flight fights, um, other episodes like that, come on over, hit that subscribe button. Give us a reason to drink. It's summertime, Sarah. Summertime, finally. Honestly, I, I it. hate it. I love it, I love it. I hate it, we're opposites. <laughs> well, I mean, look at me. I don't belong outside in the sun. I saw a TikTok the other day, I was like, I'm, I was built to survive a harsh Irish winter. I'm 50% potato. There you I go. I don't belong in the sun. 50% potato. But the other reason I, I like don't it. like summer is because it's really hard to drink. I mean, I love high proof whiskey and it's really hard to drink it during the summer. Higher proof, yes. Higher proof, uh, a lot of people think, uh, or will say, you know, the colder months, that's, that's whiskey drinking. Uh, time we say yes. It's always whiskey. It's bourbon it's always, night. It's always it's bourbon night. It's bourbon year. So we say that there are whiskeys and bourbons, American ryes that are out there that are perfect for sipping on this summer. And that's what this list is all all about. So let's get right into number one. Evan Williams single barrel. This is eighty six point six proof. A great place to start. It's not. It's not all lower proofs. We found some ones that higher proofs that work. Um, Sarah, we should also say this is our fourth video in this series. Wow, we've done a whole year. Look at us. We'll be yeah, we'll be circling back to fall. Which I don't know that we need to do it again. Maybe we'll do some additions and uh, mm. maybe a nice holiday. Some updates. Yeah. Well, some updates. But I like it. I do too. But I like this one. I mean, even though it is only eighty six point six proof, which I know proof hound like yell at me in the comments. It's fine. I already hear you. <laughs> no, I like this because I think it's like super soft and subtle and sweet, but it also still comes, you know, it brings the oak flavors forward and it's mm -hmm. a nice balance. Like you're not yeah. losing all the flavor at that proof. Yeah, I like how it does keep the oak flavors, the barrel influence in there at the slower proof. Uh, that's one thing that drew us to this. It is still, the proof makes it a really easy sipper, but you're still getting a lot of kind of, you know, more complex characteristics yeah. in here. We should also say that we tried these outside in 80, I think it was 82 degree weather when we were uh, very humid going through the list that we made to weed out the ones that didn't quite uh, make it. So it had to be tested. This is weather, done. weather tested. <laughs> yeah, right. And Chad and Sarah approved. At number two, we have Wilderness Trail six year bottled and bond. This is the weeded mash bill. Mm -hmm. Obviously the weeded is gonna let the sweetness of the corn come through some right. more. And we just thought this one was really bright and crisp and clean. Yes. Um, again, a hundred proof, so not too hot, but still substantial enough, right? A very respectable proof, one that can still, you know, uh, if you do hang out in this range and above, depending on the whiskey, and this one being one that, that kind of cuts the mustard, we'll be fine for sipping on a hot day. Yeah, definitely. I think the characteristics of the six years that it's spent in the barrel are really holding up. Yeah, I mean, you can drink this any time of year, but I think for it's sure. especially that crisp cleanness is really nice on a hot day. Yeah, I would, I would call this an all around year drinker, but uh, it really does still work in the summer, which is very respectable and very, very good. Bardstown Bourbon Company Fusion Series. Now, uh, the one that we grabbed off the shelf is number three. There's number four out there. Uh, and, and the great thing about it is they keep getting better and better. We feel like that. But yeah. even here with number three, if that's still out in your neck of the woods, does a great job at kind of being nice and light, but still pretty complex. Yeah, it's got some nice layers, um, a little bit of light fruit in there. Yeah. It's just really refreshing and I think balanced, you know, the fruitiness with, it's got some caramel and a little bit of oak and mm -hmm. it, it really strikes that balance. I think they did a really nice job blending it um, and they're really showing off their skills there. Yeah, I, I think that largely has to do with the combination of, you know, their younger distillate with some 13 year Kentucky distillate in here, which is 48% of what this is. But it's, yeah, it's that balance. So you are tasting those older, kind of uh, more complex notes, but you're getting the nice crisp and sort of light 
airy uh, notes that their younger distal is bringing. And it's really just as great, as you said, Sarah, this like really great harmony yeah. that's uh, in there. When we popped this bottle recently, as you can see, it hasn't been too long. Uh, the first thing I did was put it on the summer list because I just thought, yeah. this is it. I mean, this is it for summer, it's perfect. So I highly recommend that you get one. These yeah. are pretty readily available in our area. Not sure about you, but they should be out there. They're spreading they're out. They're widespread. They're spreading so. out across, across the US. So be on the lookout. Yeah. At number four, we have 1792 Bottled and Bond. Much like the descriptions that we've given on some of the other ones on the list so far, this one has like a really fresh taste. Um, it's crisp, it's got a little bit of floral to it. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, something that is kind of surprising and not something that we say every day when we have a bourbon, which is what got it on this list, is that it's got like a little bit of citrus that kind of comes off in a tropical way. Tropical, tropical. Right? In fact, you know, in, in the past when we started the series, we did, uh, we did flannels for fall, we did parkas for winter. I forget what we did for spring. This one, I think it's flip-flops. Out of five flip-flops. I was gonna go palm trees. Palm trees? No, I think we're palm more- Palm trees. Palm trees, <laughs> we're going more uh, apparel. I would say this is 3.5 out of five uh, flip-flops. We're out of five, okay. Yeah. Then I agree, 3.5 out of five flip-flops. Yeah, okay. it's just, yeah. it's refreshing. Again, 100 proof, the bottled and bond. We love to see it. It still keeps the characteristics that we love so much about the whiskey, but mm -hmm. not so high proof that you just can't stand it when it's hot outside. That's right. Okay, well that puts us four through our eight, so we wanna hit pause for a second and tell you about our home on the internet is whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the Glencairns that we're drinking from, our water glasses, our t-shirts, both of these. The blue It's Bourbon Nights logo tee is available now for sale. A select on, few left. On there, uh, our Copitas, our rocks glasses, and more coming very soon. Very soon, a lot more coming very soon. To whiskeyambitions.com. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night. Join our community for as little as one buck a month. You guys get first access to our barrel picks, which I think we're gonna hit 12 this year, if all goes according to plan. Uh, you get first crack at events, patron-only podcast after the episode exclusives and more. There you go. Up next is Barrel Craft Spirits Seagrass. Now this one, Sarah, is going to be, well, I don't know if it's the hardest to get, but it is limited. It is limited. It is the most expensive. It's also we, the highest proof on the list. It is, yeah, so we kind of run the gambit here. But yeah, at 118.6, 118.4. But this is a rye whiskey that's finished in Martinique rum, Madeira, and apricot brandy barrels. Uh, a lot going on there, and what it does, is it makes it five out of five flip-flops on the flip-flop scale. It's a store that sells flip-flops. It's, it's, uh, it's one of those, uh, what, are they, what do they call them? In Florida, there's one a on, tourist every, trap. on every something John's. It's been a long time since you've been to Florida. It has. Like it has. Waves or whatever those like corner stores are that sell yeah. all the, the beach towels and all the tourist things. It's that. It's that place. <laughs> it's no. That. Um, I mean, I agree though, it's beachy and it's tropical and yet it's still almost 120 proof. Like it has this like pineapple banana. Yeah. Yeah. Like it almost tastes like you're having a cocktail on the beach. But again, it's got that proof. I yes. mean, it's got those whiskey characteristics, which like you normally don't put together, right? So if you're looking for your whiskey to, you know, serve that purpose, this will get you there a little quicker, but it's not going to drink like that. No, I agree. And yeah. I've, as I've been saying, as we've been drinking through this, I really also feel like if it is getting a little too hot for you because of the proof. Mm -hmm. This one could stand up to an ice ball, maybe even a couple drops of bitters and a cherry or an orange or a oh, pineapple sure. or whatever. It's almost mm -hmm. a cocktail already. It's basically a sneeze away from being an old fashioned. So. Sneeze away, that's gross. The pineapple, the banana, just the the whole the uh, tropical banana boat of it all. It's it's mm. all there. It really, Nonsense. really puts you on the beach uh, when you drink it. And we just, we love this. We already got a second bottle. It's an experience. Uh, as a backup. It, it's approved. We like it. <laughs> Speaking of rye whiskeys, at number six, we have my beloved Pikesville. Did you um, think a rye couldn't make it on a summer list? I mean, it seems counterintuitive, right? Because of the spice, but this one is a barely legal rye, as we like to call them. It's only 51%, which it keeps the spice in there, but it's not too aggressive. It's mm -hmm. drinkable during the summer, and even at 110 proof. 110 proof. Um, which again, for us, is like kind of high for a rye. High for a rye, high, I like high, that. High for a rye, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, if, if maybe 
you don't normally drink over 110 proof, this one might not uh, fit you for summer. So then we would probably recommend uh, its baby brother, Rittenhouse, Rittenhouse at Ride, at, at 100 proof and, and saved you some dollars. But flavor wise, we really tried this one out and thought, you know, drinking it outside on a hot summer's day, we were not blown away with that heat. We thought the, the sweetness of it being a, a, a low rye um, right. Yeah. It's funny because <laughs> really when, it. when you drink stuff outside, it does kind of change your perspective on yeah. taste a little bit. And I don't think I've ever had Pikesville outside. So we were sipping it outside and I was like, this tastes like crisp apple pie with a little bit of cinnamon. Like I'm getting the cinnamon yes. spice from the rye, but it just tasted like a really delicious apple pie. And it reminded mm -hmm. me of like late summer. Um, so I think it fits. Michter's US1, this is 91.4 proof, and this is bringing uh, the thoughts of like a nice cool mm, float. A Coke float. Coke float, it does have some cola notes in there on a nice hot summer's day. But yeah, like that creamy vanilla, mm. Coke, kind of bubbly in the foam. I yeah. mean, and just in it's hot, and so you're drinking a Coke float. Like obviously it's not temperature cold, but it reminds me very much of that. Yeah. Kind of makes me, I don't know, feel like I'm Nostalgic. getting thrown back, yeah, yeah to, yeah. you know, like a, a drive-in, what do you call? Drive-in theater? But, or even like when you drive up and you, they would bring the milkshakes out. Oh, a car hop. Yeah, that thing. A car hop. Like, I wasn't there, like, I don't know. Like your Sonic or whatever. But not, but cool. Oh, but cool. Sorry, but Sonic. Cool. Sonic's too mainstream. Sorry, Sonic. Like a legit, I just mean like a authentic yes, one. Back yes. in back the in, day. Back in the day. Where I wasn't. Um, Americana, yeah. But you also are getting still barrel notes on this mm. one. Uh, it is nice and and, and sweet and sort that, of sugary. Yeah, but it has that like signature Michter's toasty notes. Almost like a toasted marshmallow on a graham cracker note. Right. Um, which is also very summer. Now we did want to also mention sort of a runner up in this same slot, Michter's US1 Sour Mash. Now this is an American whiskey. Uh, if you want to go even sweeter. Even lighter. Yeah, sweeter and lighter. This is the same proof as its bourbon brother here. We do think the bourbon for our profile anyway is kind of the winner here. Mm -hmm. But it's a little more umph. Yeah, it does. But if you You are, want to back down on the umph. <laughs> yeah, wanting to back down on your umph and get some sweeter lighter, or maybe this is the one that you can find. The American whiskey here is also uh, a great option for you. It'll do just fine. And now for our last one. We couldn't leave this one out. It's Weller Special Reserve. Now calm down. I already hear most of you saying, but I can't get that in my area. And what am I supposed to do? I'm not paying secondary prices for that, which good, I agree, please don't. On the shelf in some places, like, I don't know, we've been places in Texas where, where this is just sitting around and that's great. So in those places, I think, yeah. you know, for the retail price um, at 90 proof, this is such an easy sipper. Mm -hmm. It's generally a crowd pleaser. Mm -hmm. It's it's another great weeder. You know, we had, uh, we had another weeder on here with the uh, Wilderness Trail. It, it makes sense because the weeded mash bill doesn't have any rye in it, rye can lead to the spiciness. That wheat is letting the uh, sweetness of the corn show through and the proof just make this one very perfect for summer. Right, I know that there's some people that are real irritated by this right now and that's okay, I understand you. We got you. I hear you. This is very much more readily available. This is the Rebel 100, um, also weeded, 10 proof points higher. They should be roughly the same price. They should both be under 25 bucks in your area if they're more than that. Hopefully. I mean, this one right should be, this people. one you, you, you'll see crazy prices, but this one, yeah, should be around 20 bucks maybe 25 at the highest. They would both be fairly priced at $25 and anything more than that I would have. Yeah. A bone to pick. But you're getting 10 more uh, proof points with this one and- And actually you're getting some more flavor, I think. You are, you are. Now this actually, if you buy a bottle now, it'll probably just say it'll Rebel. Say the yell has been silenced, but a 100 proof still probably coming from Heaven Hill at the publishing of uh, this video. It is source, but this Luxro, it's like larceny turned up in the flavor it, department. Yeah, it, really it is. is. And if you ask me personally to choose between these two, I'm gonna go here. I just like flavor -wise, the yep. extra flavor that this one brings. Mm -hmm. But I would encourage you if you have them both or if you can find them both to try them blind. I think it's a fun test. But I mean, again, you're not gonna go wrong with Weller Special Reserve. Like even if you normally drink something at a higher proof point, 
this is just an easy sipper for summertime. Absolutely. There you have it, folks. That is correct. I don't know correct. if that was a good ending note or not, because <laughs> we got some summer showers going yeah, on outside. Yeah, we do. Uh, but that's what we're drinking on this summer, uh, amongst some other things. But this, we feel like, is a solid list for you all who are still wanting to continue your bourbon and whiskey drinking throughout the summer, because why wouldn't you? And if, your, if your summer pick isn't on this list, tell Let us, us in the comments. We want to know, know what's, your, what's your favorite summer sipper. Absolutely. And if you haven't subscribed to us already, We'd love to have you come on over. You can click right up here to do so. There's suggestions of other videos right down here. And we hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Get out them flip-flops. Until next oh time, drink more bourbon. <laughs> <laughs>